Okay, right away. Wow, the ambient sound. It really does sound like New England. Like, I recognize bird calls. That's amazing. That gives me the warm fuzzies. Okay, I guess the narrator's done, and we are inside our very first outpost. This will be my first time accessing the weapons anything. And... Uh, I don't really see where to customize my weapons. Maybe it's somewhere else. Well, I don't want a dog yet. Um, oh, there it is. C. Hit C for customize. Oh, oh, okay. Now, like I said in my previous review videos of some of the information that EW had put out before the update, I love the classic look of the weapon. I've not really focused on the customization because of that, but I think I will at least try it. Now, let's see here. Um, look, New England Premium Wrap. That's so cool. I love how it's like part of different maps and things like that. Here. Oh, okay. Oh, you have to spend money on this. Oh, no. No. That's pink. <laughs> no. Is that it? Is that all we got? Oh, I got to download it. Uh, okay. Huh. Okay. Apparently, it's a separate download. I didn't realize that. I have to download it separately. So, um, I guess I will have to figure that out, but that's cool. You ha in order to access this, you have to go into your storage. You can't do it from the store. You have to go into your storage, pull up your particular weapon, and then you can drag and add things. But I see that you have to pay to do this. Um, you've got like $200 for these. You have 750 for these. Ew. <laughs> um, I mean, that's not bad, I guess. I mean, that's very pretty. I might do that, actually. But, again, I have to download it and purchase it. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that right now, but at least I know how to do it. That's good. So I figured we'd take a quick look at my loadout for this map. Uh, we have, of course, my Ecker's Elegance. It's my most favorite rifle in the game. We're definitely going to have this with us the majority of the time because it's so flexible. There's so many animals you could take with it. We have our 300 canning Magnum Frontier, which is going to help us take down our moose and our bear if we do encounter them. And then we have the 223 Docent because I would love to encounter a red fox and see what they look like. Oh, and I should go to my lodges and take a look at the trophies I already have. There's so much to do. Ooh boy, we've got a max weight moose track on our way to the lookout tower. I miss it. 23. So I would assume that they're betting. Well. Oh. Okay. There they are. First moose of the day. Hmm. Down he goes. First moose of the day. Are they stuck? Is she stuck? Are you stuck? Will you attack me? Because I know you aggro now. You're beautiful. I think you're stuck. Look at this. Look how close I can get. Hi, friend. Hi. Oh, you're so fluffy. I don't want to give you a hug. Ooh, hello. Wow, the level of detail. I'm not even mad that this is broken right now. Oh, oh, uh, hi. She takes off running any second now. 
I mean, that's beautiful. I could watch her all day. Look at that fur detail. Sorry for shooting your mate, almost. I'm just gonna go pick him up. Kinda feel like she's my friend. Oh, that waddle. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> what kind of pose is that? He's a gold, he's 214. So. Not a very big gold, but we got him right through the heart. Okay. Let me inspect him. Oh my gosh. It's like super moose. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. X-ray view. Oh, okay. Wow, that's a very clean screen. I like that. Very well done. 10 out of 10. We'll do it again. Okay. Just go ahead and do that. Alright, you know what? You can stay right there. You are... <laughs> I don't know what's going on with you, but you are okay in my book, okay? Good luck, friend. All right, so we're going to go ahead and head on up to the tower. All right, so we made it to our first lookout tower, and it doesn't look like we have much around here. We do have another outpost that we'll need to unlock. Um, so, but let's take a look. Let's zoom out a little bit. So I generally like to do things in a spiral, just run all the way around in a circle and then come back to the middle. So rather than go and get this cabin, I think we'll start by running over to this lookout tower here and this will complete our video now as i mentioned before along the way if we find something interesting to follow or run into something like that moose i just ran into we will certainly track it out we will certainly have that experience and that should hopefully generate some good hunting so we'll head over to our next target and i will be back if we encounter something super cool The morning doves. <laughs> Such a nice touch. Such a beautiful touch. This is quite lovely. You know, I live in the southern Appalachians, and this is quite lovely. All right, so we made it to our next lookout tower, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like there are any houses here, any outposts. Or at least none that illuminated by getting that lookout tower opened up. Maybe there's one here or one here. I don't know. That's interesting. Like we may have needed that one <laughs> to start. Um, well, I, I really feel like they would not have not put a outpost up here because this is a pretty far run and so I'm just going to run up here and see what that does for us and hopefully there will be an outpost there maybe I can see it from here nope oh gosh oh that was a dumb idea okay not so dumb idea I'm okay but we'll run over there see what that is moonstone than another stuck moonst. Ooh. I see antler. Hi, friend. Level three. Okay. You're less stuck than your other friend was. Make sure we have the right gun on us. gonna say that should have been clean I like the running mechanic it's much more believable oh 
let's go check him out. There he is, piled up right there. All right, friend. Take a look at you. Wow, the level of detail is just amazing to me. Look at those eyebrow tines. Oh, sorry. Of course I have it. He's a gold. Barely a gold. But, oh, oh gosh. This axis turning is interesting. Yeah, look at those eyebrow tines. Dang. That's awesome. There's some nice eyebrow tines. I can't wait to go back into my lodge and ta take a look at my big moose and see what they look like. I mean, obviously, we're not going to save this guy. But, yeah, that's that's going to be real interesting. Uh, Alright, so I went ahead and changed my loadout to include the Ranger 243. I'm sure there's another rifle I could be using that covers the entire range for foxes and bobcats. But, honestly, I'm not sure what that weapon would be. And, um, I don't mind carrying four guns. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. You're a very angry cat. Let's go find you. Are you literally right here? Where are you? Why you scrim? Reveal yourself. Okay, we got him. Oop, that missed. That hit home. Awesome. Our first bobcat on New England Mountains. It was a level 7. Very hard. I also heard my first whitetail call. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, apparently I did hit him back there, but not very well. Yep. Nice. So nice save on that one. Very, very nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> He's a gold. Okay, three point shy of diamond. Very nice. Ooh, we got lucky on that shot. It was a little far back, but we hit that liver, so that saved us. Very nice. Very nice. All right, on our way to the next lookout tower, and we are coming up upon the river for that brook stream. Creek. I guess this is a river, yeah. Just given its size. This little river that runs along the top quadrant of the map. And this is just one of those things that I absolutely loved about this map. I don't know. Oh, I wish my docent would take you. So many diamond potential turkeys I'm missing. I have plenty of diamond turkeys, though. So I would rather focus on animals I particularly want. Be something if that were an initial spawn. Great one black bear. Probably not going to be so lucky. But yeah, these these creeks and streams. This is... Makes me think New England was at one point home to me. Just the absolute beauty of the region. The ancient history, not just of European contact and settlement, but of native peoples as well. And yes, I get all romantic-y. Huh. We have our first sighted deer herd. Could take that nice level 2 out there. Oh. Wait, glad I didn't open fire yet. Oh, snap. Diamond potential. That's our target, folks. The level two, probably not going to be diamond, so... That's our target right there. Look at the spread on him. You're a level... Oh, you're a two, too. Hopefully we don't startle these boys. A nice level one there, so we will leave him alone, but... 
God, those new moose calls, huh? Decent quartering shot, so I'm not too worried. I could get him to turn around, I guess. All right. Stop it, Trub. You're freaking me out. Anyway. Hear the bullfrogs calling? That's pretty awesome as well. Yeah, definitely. I get wider, though. I mean, I don't mind this kind of quartering shot. It's actually not too bad, but... I don't know. I, I just... I really don't want to take the risk. I don't have to. And I think we're far enough away. Yeah, that's better. Gosh, great spread, though. Oh, yeah. Clean and quick. And, yeah, they did touch-ups on Whitetail, so I'll get to see that for the first time. That's awesome. Maybe this will be your first diamond on New England. My goodness. It's almost moose time. Oh, can we stop that? It is almost moose time. And we do need to track out that max weight that's up at this part. If that hunting pressure doesn't chase him off. All right, here we go. Yeah, they look very velvety. Oh. Yes, our first diamond on New England and we haven't even been playing for an hour, I don't think. Oh! <gasps> diamond Whitetail, oh, that's nice. 258, okay, three points over. <gasps> that's awesome. Oh my gosh, I gotta remember all the controls for this. Oh, wow. I knew that spread was pretty awesome. First diamond, the white tail. That's awesome. Look at him. Wait, I like that pose. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> we got so lucky. Wow. I didn't even pay attention to what the screen was reporting for a shot placement. Wow. I thought I was square on the lung. I, I aim for that notch right there, right behind the shoulder. Wow. Okay. You are definitely getting saved. Um, let's get out of that. Let's um, do this. Let's say yes. First diamond saved by a neck shot. Jeez, oh, Pete. That was lucky. Oh, I am disappointed in myself. There's no excuse for that. Oh, wow, that was quick. All right. Well, let's uh, let's keep looking around and seeing what we can find. Jeez. You know, I bet this is an outpost. Let's go up and see. I just have a feeling. Probably an outpost. Ah ha ha ha! I was right. That's awesome. I wanted to come back up here because I feel like there's going to be some large moose up here. And so this just helps. So definitely glad that we stopped along the way to the lookout tower. I love this. I love this little A-frame. I can't wait to see the inside. We're going to take a break and go inside the outpost. And see what it looks like. I love that little A-frame. It looks like the most amazing tiny house tent. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Why? Ah, uh, it should have been the big three. It should have been that, that, and then a moose. Missed an opportunity. Oh, what kind of files you got? Can I lie down? All right. 
<laughs> the hunter call the wilds on the computer. Samples. TK. Secret. Mmm. Avalanche. Tax returns. <laughs> Good job, guys. They say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. Aww. Uh, you guys seem like a great team to work for. Uh, maybe one day. Oh, maybe one day. Not sure what I'd do for you. Hey, I've got some marketing skills. I'm great at pep talks. Anyway, let's get back on the trail, shall we? <laughs> wow. Look at the size of that level four. See, those are the kinds of antlers I like on a moose. Now, I'm not going to begrudge getting the atypical rack if I do. But he's gorgeous. We will be hunting him. I'm going to scare all these moosets as I do. The mooset. We're just gonna... <laughs> that waddle wiggling. Oh, so great. So immersive. Gosh, look at that. Hi, friend. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate that sound change. It is amazing. It is wonderful. It is... Oh... I used the wrong gun. I pulled my Eckers. Oh, bloody. Mm. I don't know. Can the Eckers work? I don't know. Ah, uh, darn. Well, we're not exploiting this one, folks. That was my mistake. I was enchanted by the different sounds I was hearing. I got distracted, and I pulled the wrong gun on our beautiful level four. So there is a good chance that I will not get max score on him. But I need to be mindful that if I encounter a great one, we cannot do that. It was a vital hit, though. Guess I didn't need that second shot, but... Uh, I hope the Eckers can do... can handle Moose. Don't think so. Ah, uh, bloody hell. Oh, mother of pearl and all the things I say. Darn it. There he is, all crumpled up right over there by that copse of trees. We could get this need zone real quick. Rabbit. All right. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry, friend. You did not deserve that. Look at the size of those paddles. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, cool. That's good to know. Oh, he's got one eyebrow tine. Oh, oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Now, this feature is really cool. I know we've had caves before on maps. Like, there's one in Tio Wara that goes on forever. But this is still a really cool feature. And I love geology. It's a passion of mine. Get over the rocks. Oh, and it's our first bit of lore from the map. Hey, skeleton. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought that was a skeleton. Huh? <gasps> it's just a couple of ferns. Oh, <laughs> disappointed. 
Nothing. Uh, landmarks. Interesting. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna call y'all out. I'm gonna call EW out. Y'all ready for this? In the did you know section, New England should be capitalized. You didn't think anybody would actually read this? I read it. Let's see, let's read it. <clears throat> Located deep in the Greeley Wilderness era, area, this open pit, and that needs to be, that's a title, all of that should be capitalized. Um, this open pit mine goes all the way through the ridge with one of its entrances leading into Edward Ravine. It was first operated commercially during the Industrial Revolution and then was open to the public from the 1960s to the 2010s. During those years, it was not uncommon to cross paths with couples or children with a hammer and a few minerals in their hands. The mineral deposits found in its tunnels are thought to be around 350 to 400 hundred million years old a wide variety of minerals have been on earth here and um, have been unearthed here primarily mica but also quartz amethyst feldspar and barrel for more information visit your local site <laughs> um but yeah so i read it it's important to me um that should be capitalized ew calling you out on that fix it please Please and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway, I'm off to get this house and then I think I'm gonna, or this outpost, and I'm going to call it a night, I think. That is a moose I want. Last moose of the night. He's a decent looking boy. Last moose of the night Exchanging glances Ah, he wiggled his little tail So funny Interesting detail actually comes out. Oh, that's interesting. Doesn't react very well when it comes to... Oh! That was unnecessary. Um, when shot, though, there's, like, no real reaction to it. Like, back in the day, they used to throw themselves over and, like... Have a big reaction. Oh, I've been shot. Not so much in this case. Very interesting. Yeah, I think this is going to be our last moose of the night. I may pop over to Leighton and just check it out for a second, but uh, getting pretty tired. <laughs> been at this for a while now. So what are my impressions of the New England map? Well, I am enjoying it immensely so far. I am enraptured by the landscape i am enraptured by the sounds especially um i think this is a beautiful map and i'm very much looking forward to exploring it even more um we've opened up pretty much the entire northern corridor which is more than i intend had intended to do tonight um but I have no regrets. It is an absolutely stunning adventure, and I am so grateful to be a part of it. Um, 
I was really, really, really hoping for an initial Great One spawn, but we haven't explored everything yet, but it's looking less and less likely that that will be the case. Um, but so far, I'm enjoying it a lot. I am a little put off by the fact that my red deer populations were reset, and if you've seen my previous video, it's raw, unedited, it's uh, very much a straight up reaction video and I'm, I can't be too mad because as I say in that video anytime you have an update of this magnitude there's going to be some hiccups there's going to be some code that bumps up against other code and since they backfilled species into the new maps I'm sure that had a lot to do with moving things around and, and changing things a little bit sorry I was hoping to see that fox but uh, so far, other than that, I'm really, really enjoying New England. I look forward to opening up more of the map. Here is our lovely moose. He's got tiny little eyebrow tines. And he is a lovely gold, a 241, kind of a mid-grade gold. We got him right through that scapula into the left lung. Very good placement there. Love the big broad paddles. That's what I like to see on a moose. So... That's going to do it for me, guys, tonight at least. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. I can't say that enough. Uh, I really enjoy interacting with the community as well. So if you haven't seen my poll videos, go check those out. And I definitely would like to get your voice as far as some of the things that are going on in my hunt. What was that? Anyway, hear your voice in regards to how things are going along in my hunts. Um, also, if you're playing New England right now, let me know how it's going for you. What are you enjoying about it? What what would you like to see changed? What were you expecting? What were you not expecting? I am genuinely curious to know. Uh, but you know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, comment. And I will catch you on our next adventure. Bye! What are you doing? Oh. Oh. Yeah? Oh. Uh. Uh-huh. Yeah? Oh. I know you're only a, a female, but good gravy. You look very angry. I'm really sorry for running up on you. It was not my intention. Yeah. Uh. Bye. Wow. Um. Not gonna lie, that was an impressive standoff. Um, I knew that they added moose aggression in the game. That was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. That was, uh... I'm not even mad. That was, um... A different experience. Thank you, friend.